Welcome back everyone. Now that we have a good understanding on the fundamentals of Storybook, we can start looking at add-ons. Add-ons, as the name indicates, implement extra features for Storybooks to make them more useful. We're going to take a look at quite a few add-ons, but we will not be exploring every detail of each individual add-on. I want you to sort of get an idea of what the add-on is capable of and you can dig deeper into the ones that you like. And we know that Storybook comes with a way to list stories and visualize them in the browser. In the side nav, we have the list of stories with the ability to filter by their title. To the right of it, we have the Storybook canvas where we can visualize the stories. This canvas has a feature to zoom in, zoom out and reset the zoom. At the same time, we can also go full screen, open the canvas in a new tab or even copy the canvas link. Now at the bottom of the canvas, we have what we call the add-ons panel. And if you've noticed, we already have an item in the add-ons panel called actions. Now this is present because of the automatic installation of the storybook init command. The command installs a few add-on packages in addition to setting up storybook for us. So in the dev dependencies, we have the add-on actions package and in the storybook folder, Within the main.js file, we also have an entry for the add-on actions. This, by the way, is how you register an add-on. Since we already have this actions add-on installed and set up for us, in this video, let's understand what feature it brings to our Storybook app. Now, the actions add-on can be used to display data received by event handlers in Storybook. Let's take a look at an example. In the chakra button stories, we first make the necessary import. Import action and actions from storybook slash add-on actions. Now on the first button story, we add on click is equal to action. The argument is click handler. If I go back to the browser, click on the button, you can see the message click handler logged in the actions panel. If I expand it, we get more information about the event. In this particular scenario, we get information about the click event. Now, a lot of the times you might not really want any of this information. Instead, you just want to ensure the event handlers are working as expected. For that, Viewing that the action name is logged in the actions panel is good enough. If at all you have multiple events that you want to make sure are captured, you can use the actions export from the add-on. So on the second button story, I'm going to spread actions with two arguments, on click and on mouse over. Now all it does is for each of the events listed, that is on click or on mouse over, the same name appears in the actions panel. So if I go back to the browser, go to danger, hover on the button, we get on mouse over logged in the actions panel. Click on the button, we get on click. So the events are captured as intended. So this is pretty much the basic usage of the actions add-on in Storybook. It is a way to ensure that all your events are working as expected without having to actually implement the business logic for any of those actions. Now there are a few more useful add-ons. So in the next few videos, let's quickly take a look at each of them and understand their basic usage.